Kamusta my future MP friends welcome back to the channel in this video we are going to talk about how to submit your practicum application the easy way this is the part two of the practicum series castle branch video check out the link in the description below in the comments or at the end of this video for the link to the other practicum videos we are talking about meditrack alcohol edu hipaa and osha certification and other required resources remember this is based on my experience this video is not affiliated with walden university so if you're ready i'm ready Tara na. All right, what is Castle Branch? The most simple way to explain this is that Castle Branch is a third party company that manages all the proper paperwork that you, the student, must have in order to be compliant with the state, the nursing board, the facility you will be doing your practicum, or any other governmental department for your practicum experience. Castle Branch collects all your information from RN license to health insurance drug tests, liability insurance, immunizations, background checks, drug tests, and other important nursing related paperwork. It is $112 for the complete package. It is good for a year. Walden University suggests to complete this six to four weeks in advance before you start your actual practicum. You will not be permitted to start your practicum if this is not completed. In my opinion, Castle Branch is very intuitive. It gives you step-by-step -step guide, not a lot of looking around, it's pretty black and white. A specific Walden U Castle Branch link will be provided to you by the university. If you don't have it or can't find it, you can find the link in the description below. In the landing page, click the red button to place your order. It brings you to the package selection page. Click College of Nursing. Pick your state and your desired package. In this case, choose I need to order my first package through Walden's Castle Branch. You will then go to the order screen where you will put your information and payment information. Okay, it gets a little bit too personal here, but it's okay. This is a pertinent information that they need in order to conduct the background check. It will also ask you for a Walden University student ID. You will find this on the top right hand corner of the Walden student portal. Control C to copy and Control V to paste. Click next to continue. It will ask you to create a username and password. I put in my personal email because I check it all throughout the day. You can put your Walden University student email if you'd like and click create account. In this page, you basically just put in any alias you have, previous names, maiden names, etc. Again, for background check purposes. Skip if you have no other names to report. Click next to continue. As you can see, some of this information is pre-filled. Some you would need to fill out. Click next to continue. In this screen, it just gives you an overview of everything. So review your order, click next to continue. I was surprised to see that they offer a payment plan. So I really, really like this feature. It does come with an extra fee, but for some of us, this can be really, really helpful. So kudos Castle Branch. Click next to continue. In this screen, it just gives you a final overview of your purchase. I realize there's a clickbait below, real vaccination ID. Please ignore, you do not need this. It's just extra thing they want you to spend your money on. Click next to continue. Fill out or complete your user profile. They just want to get to know you better, I guess, right? It prompts you to fill out security questions. Do this since you have sensitive information. This is a good idea. All right, next you will be taken to the actual nitty gritty stuff. Click go to proceed. In this page, the only thing you would want to worry about is the to-do list. You can play around, click other things if you'd like. I didn't find anything fun or anything informative at all. Towards to the right of the to-do list, you want to click on each row. For example, this background check row is asking me to sign a form. I chose electronically because I don't feel like downloading the paper, printing it out, signing it and uploading it or faxing it back to Castle Branch. That's just too much work for me. However, the option is there for you if you'd like to go that route. By the way, I find the website laggy and I keep finding to get this message. If this happens to you, just hit the back button to reload and click on the link again. 
scroll down initially will ask you to fill out your initials and also your signature just try your best after this initial setup it will not ask you again scroll down and find a mini pen to click and sign at this point i just basically went through every row to see what i can complete without asking me for additional paperwork just so i can get rid of that task health insurance liability insurance hipaa certification OSHA certifications are all needed. I was going to search up HIPAA and OSHA free certification, but I opt out in paying for it here in Castle Branch. It's basically a video and a test at the end to get certified. Let me know in the comments if you find somewhere cheaper or for free. Here at Castle Branch is $15 each, so $30 altogether. All right, what do you guys think of this video? Did it help you? Did I miss anything? If so, let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to watch the whole playlist of submitting your practicum application. If you like my channel content, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching. As always, if I can do it, so can you. See you, my future MP friends. Paalam.